In this video, I will demonstrate the command line utility of an interactive job run on a research computing resource. Interactive jobs are useful for running scripts and simulations in real time. These jobs begin as soon as resources are available. Once you've logged in, load the slurm module with the command module load slurm slash summit. Now begin the interactive job using the s interactive command. Type s interactive dash dash qos equals debug dash dash time equals zero zero colon one zero colon zero zero. This will tell the supercomputer that you want to run an interactive job, you're using the debug quality of service, and the job will take no longer than 10 minutes. When you run an interactive job, you can change the quality of service and wall time to fit your needs. You will see a message saying, waiting for job ID with some number to start while the system waits for resources to become available. A login shell using one core on one node will open for 10 minutes. On this node, you can run executables in real time. You can also run interactive sessions of programs like Python. To demonstrate this, let's run Python on the command line. Type module load Python to load the Python module. Then type Python. You are now interactively running Python on research computing resources. When you are finished working in Python, exit Python by typing the command exit parentheses and then exit the job by typing in exit on the terminal. If you do not exit the job when you are finished, the interactive job will continue to run for the full amount of time requested, thus using up part of your allocation. For more information on interactive jobs, follow the link in the description to the Research Computing website.